Good morning, guys. I want to show you something different today, and that is how to bling colored pencil with nail polish remover. <laughs> so what? What here are just a normal pencil, nothing special, GP. I've got a polychromo pencil, Faber Castell polychromo, and I've got Stadler, no, like Lira's watercolor pencils. I want to try all three of them. I've got cotton buds and I've got nail polish remover. I've already tried this on um, this is a pretty thick sketch paper um, with a smooth finish. It's this one that I got through Take a Lot. It's a 200 grams paper so it's pretty thick and it's extra smooth so I've already tried it on this paper and this is how it came out um, these three are the where I used a very light pressure um, you'll see on that side let me maybe bring it a bit closer on that side it's still a bit grainy I didn't blend it there and on this side I blend it with a nail polish remover. Um, in this group I used a little bit more pressure. On that side's the grainy part that I didn't blend and on this side is the blended part. It seems to work quite well. And here I used quite a bit of pressure but not too much. And again, on that side it's grainy and unblended, and on this side it's blended. Now I want to try it on um, normal printer paper and see what happens. And I'm going to follow pretty much. Oh, the other thing is the lighter color is um, watercolor pencil. Um, the almost plum color is a the polychromo pencil and the red was the normal GP pencil so yeah we've got let's start with the normal GP pencil I'm going to use the medium pressure here and you'll see that I'm layering so that I don't press too hard from the beginning. So this light one is just the cheapy pencil. Now let's see. I pour out a little bit of the nail polish remover just into the cap. Let's see how it works on printer paper. I don't think it will work well. So what I do is, let me put the cap there. I just put it in. I don't scrape off too much. I just dab it there a little bit. Just to get that drop off there. Yeah, this won't work too well on printer paper. Printer paper is way too absorbent. Okay. But let's move on and let's try the watercolor pencil. You'll see that to prevent streaks, I hold the pencil pretty far back from the tip and I layer so that I don't get streaks. Instead of pressing too hard, I rather layer and increase the pressure on my pencil with each layer. Okay, I think that's enough. 
Let's try blending this. Here that it dries, it does blend a little bit. I'll show you when I'm done. Okay, now I'm going to use the polychromo pencil, which is an oil-based pencil. that it does work um, oh the cheapy pencils are mostly wax based so they did blend a little bit but not to a very smooth finish on the printer paper um, and the paper buckled the printer paper was not very strong the watercolor paper, I'm not very sure what the binder in watercolor paper is. Oh, watercolor pencils are. I, I don't know. I know cheapies are mostly wax based. And the expensive ones, the polychromos, are oil based. I'm not sure what the watercolor pencils are based on. Okay, but again, you can see it did blend a little bit on the printer paper, but not very much. Um, what happened with the polychromos, it seems, is that the nail polish remover lifted off some of it on the printer paper, which didn't happen on the 200 grams um, very smooth sketch paper. So, let's try it now on proper 300 grams I think this is called pressed watercolor paper. Let's see what happens here. And let's use blue this time. So I've got a blue cheapy and I've got a darker blue polychromo. And I've got another in between blue and watercolor pencil so let's see what happens here again I'm going to use only one value which is the mid tone the middle value where I use a little bit more pressure but not too much I hope you can see there Let me just show you the difference in value. If I pressed a really light, this would be the light value. I basically just let the pencil touch the page. I'm not applying much pressure there. And when I use more pressure, now I prefer to use layering instead of pressing too hard right from the beginning so yeah i'm using more pressure you can see it's more grainy on this paper because watercolor paper normally has a bit of a texture on the surface that's where i used more pressure on here i really press on the pencil with a light value i basically just let the pencil touch the page with the mid-tone I just layer but with very very little pressure on the pencil and with a dark value I have to pretty much press but not 
like this that it's into the paper damaging the paper okay so this was the watercolor pencil So that was the watercolor pencil. There you can see the little paintbrush on the pencil. Okay, now let's do the cheapy, the wax based one. work better on the watercolor paper because you see watercolor paper is sealed it's thicker a lot thicker um, although there's not much difference between the 300 grams and the 200 gram thickness it's a little bit textured but I think you do get smooth watercolor paper as well but the big thing is the cold pressed and hot pressed paper means that it's sealed. Now let's try the polychromo, the oil based. I don't have many colors in this because they're very expensive. But they are the best quality pencils you can find. Right, so my verdict is it doesn't really matter what type of pencil you use. This is watercolor. This is um, cheapy wax based pencil. And this is the really expensive oil based pencil that's supposed to be a lot better at this. But they all blend to the same finish with a um, nail polish remover. Okay, given that this is proper watercolor paper, which is pretty expensive. So I think it's not the pencil that makes the difference, it's the paper that makes the difference. Hmm, interesting. Right, okay, let me see. I think um next week I, i'm gonna like i said before i'm gonna post a video only every second day now that everyone's gone back to work and the kids are doing online schooling and yes um it gives me more t a little bit more time to do other things around here and um i hope that's okay with you guys I'll try to make it worth your while every second day. So what we're going to do is I've got a nice reference picture of plums here that we're going to color and blend with nail polish remover on Tuesday. So I hope, mo I think most of you, most of you that's still left um, have colored pencils at home. So I think this is going to be a fun one. It's the first time that I've tried blending with this. Um, normally I use stumpies or I burnish with white pencil. Let me show you what happens then. If you burnish with white pencil, you have to press really freaking hard and be very careful not to damage the paper. Let's see the difference between burnishing, 
blending with a stumpy and blending with the nail polish remover now there you can see the difference that part I blended with the stumpy this part I burnished with white it looks the closest to the part that I blended with a nail polish remover I like this finish if you don't want texture there you still have a bit of texture with the white you have most texture when you blend with a stumpy here you have a very very smooth finish when you blend with the nail polish remover I like this right so on, tu on Tuesday we're going to do the reference picture of the plum and we because it's got a smooth surface we're going to use this method to blend it awesome enjoy your weekend guys i'll see you next week bye